Uh, we should probably mention that you're wearing uh, jeans and boots uh, for this interview. Does that kind of characterize your personality? Well, I think so. You know, at the end of the day, you got to be yourself. And uh, like I tell uh, you know all our guys and uh, and our staff meeting, uh, the first couple of days are like, well, what do we wear? I'm like, just be yourself. I look presentable, uh, but at the same time, this is this is who we are. So uh, it's a lot easier to be who you are. How does an Oklahoma boy find his way to North Texas? Well, I'll tell you what, it, it was, uh, it's, first of all, it's good to be back home and in my footprint, people uh, um, that I grew up around that, um, you know, we have uh, very similar backgrounds and uh, it's just very comfortable being back, being around everybody and uh, we've had an unbelievable time here the past uh, month. You know, uh, you know, becoming a head coach for the first time, you're drawing upon all of your experience and you have a lot of it. Let me first ask you about uh, winning a national championship at OU and what that experience was like to help you get prepared for something like this. Well, it was unbelievable because, uh, you know, I, I got to uh, be a part of a team that um, from the time I was a freshman to a senior, uh, going, uh, I think it was uh, four and eight my, my freshman year uh, to 13 and 0 my senior year. Um, you know, it took a lot of hard work, um, obviously, um, getting guys in the right right spot, um, how to how to build a team, um, how to build that chemistry throughout a team, and uh, there's a fine line between going four and eight and thirteen and zero, and it, it's a very fine line. And at the end of the day, uh, just getting people on the same page and making sure we're all pulling the rope in the same direction. So uh, it was an unbelievable experience, and it's an experience that uh, you know has taken me, uh, that has helped me throughout my career and uh, moving on forward. So hopefully it'll help uh, help here too. Of course, the headline with that with that uh, team and, and that year was just that nobody saw it coming. I mean, they were, what were you guys, like ranked 20th, 19th in that first poll? Something where you weren't exactly considered national championship contenders. And then to just exceed everything, blow everyone out of the water. Is that something that you hope is, is a storyline for this team one of these years, whether it's this year or coming Absolutely. Up? And like I told these guys, we're, we're going to prepare like champions each, each week, every, every single day. And at the end of the day, you know, those runs, um, obviously they're very hard to, um, to win a national championship. That's why year in, year out, uh, you don't see very many repeats and because uh, it's a hard task to do. And it takes a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of things have to go right your way in order to do that. But at the end of the day, um, just building that uh, momentum, um, building the confidence throughout the season, uh, getting on a run uh, week after week, and uh, you're winning, you stay on that, pretty much that run. And, uh, you're building that confidence, you're pulling together as a team, and um, when you get on runs like that, um, whether it be a championship season uh, like we, we had at Oklahoma, and last year when we pulled off 11 straight at North Carolina, um, just uh, being a part of that something special. Uh, it doesn't happen uh, year in and year out, so when you're a part of it, you got to enjoy it, uh, but at the same time, you got to learn through those experiences and uh, how it can help, help us move forward. What was it like uh, coaching with and for Mike Leach at Texas Tech? Unbelievable. Um, unbelievable mind. Um, knew exactly uh, uh, what he wanted to do. He had a great vision. Um, he didn't, uh, he had a vision of what he wanted to do and he didn't change much. It, he kept it very simple um, and uh, just an unbelievable man to be around and um, unbelievable experience to be with a guy like that for your first job. And uh, obviously you're coming from North Carolina. You know, you guys had some incredible success over there. What was the what was the one I guess thing, whether it was a tangible or an intangible, that that made you guys so successful out there? I think it was team and staff chemistry. I think uh, Coach Fedora does an unbelievable job. He he has an unbelievable vision. Uh, when we left the staff meeting each and every morning, uh, we knew as assistants uh, what was expected and um, what direction uh, we were going in, and uh, we could all pull the rope in the same direction. And I think it uh, carried over to the players. Uh, we had a great group of guys. Um, that uh, you know fought very hard and, and prepared very well, uh, but at the end of the day, they had a lot of grit and determination, and uh, it was an unbelievable group and a lot of fun group to be around. Uh, one of the younger coaches uh, in, in Division One uh, is that you kind of use that to your advantage, given you know you have these sleepless nights when you're transitioning to a new thing. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know it's uh, you're you're going to have a lot of sleepless nights, whether you're an assistant or, or the head coach, um, and you know it, it's it's a. Uh, it's a grind, um, whether you're going from recruiting to now inst installation, um, to clinics, to uh, you know, getting ready for spring ball, and then moving on from there for your summer program. So there's a lot of things that have to be done. So uh, it takes a lot of hard work on, on uh, a lot of different people. And, um, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a very rewarding job. We're, we're blessed to get to do something we love. Uh, we get to come out here, and at the end of the day, we get to coach football. And uh, to me, there's not a better, better profession to, uh, to be involved in. 
you get so little time to recruit and uh, also create your footprint uh, in terms of the kind of offense that you want to be running here, which is obviously a transition for this program. How do you handle the obvious growing pains that come with that? The other day you install it and uh, you know you get your players to believe in it and uh, make sure they understand uh, what your core principles are uh, within your system. And uh, we all have to know the answers to it. And at the end of the day, keep it simple, play fast, have fun. What's the reception that you've gotten from uh, high school coaches around the Metroplex about you coming here and, and you know wanting to, to do what you want to do here? It's been unbelievable. I've gotten the opportunity to uh, have uh, stopped by a lot of schools and, and been able to uh, sit down with a lot of different coaches and then pick their brain because, again, uh, some of those guys have been head coaches a long time, so it was a great opportunity for me not only to get in their school and uh, get a chance to meet them, but also pick their brain a little bit on uh, you know some of their exper experiences of uh, being a head coach and how to run a program. Because um, I, you know, obviously there's there's uh, there's not a better place in the country, in my opinion, um, to what it looks like for uh, high school football. And these guys have done an unbelievable job. Um, it's gr great football, great men, and uh, I've had an unbelievable time just sitting down and, and picking their brain a little bit. What's the sales pitch? How do you approach it? Uh, the sales pitch to, to to you know coaches saying, hey, you know, you send your kids over here, they're going to handle things. At well. the end of the day, you, uh, recruiting is building relationships, um, and it's still a people business. Um, going out and, and meeting people, um, getting to know them, uh, having them understand who you are as a person, as a man, and how you're running your program, and uh, selling North Texas isn't very hard. As you can look around, it's unbelievable uh, facilities, uh, great great education. And uh, we, you know, the vision that uh, our president and our athletic director, um, uh, the vision that they have within this program, uh, is very easy to see, and uh, that's that's exactly why uh, I wanted to be a part of it because of their vision, and uh, you know, I think we can do unbelievable things here. How many unpacked boxes do you have right now? A ton. Uh, you know, still just w just within my office, and I haven't even uh, moved into my new house yet. So there there'll be plenty of unpacking to do. So where are you living right now? Right now at a hotel, okay. uh, living living in a hotel, and uh, you know it's uh, uh, we got we got uh, our two kids here. They they've both started school, and uh, we have our dog and my wife, me and my wife, two kids, and, and uh, we're all living in the hotel. And um, at the end of the day, transition um, it, it is what it is, and uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. And you know I want them to be here with me and, and experience all the different things. And um, but it's not only me, our, our entire staff, we're all through transition and our families and some of these guys are away from their families, their, their wife and their children um, for, for a long time period. So, um, you know, through recruiting, as we got done with that, they got an opportunity this past week to get back and, and get around their kids, get around their wife a little bit and uh, have some family time. Um, but uh, we'll all make the transition and hopefully uh, because, again, we hired unbelievable staff, we have great chemistry. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to be around those guys and uh, such a good group. We can all kind of, uh, you know, lean on each other to help us through transition. You get you get the adrenaline pumping, you know, given that this is your first head coaching job and you, you forget about those things, right? Absolutely. And again, um, my, my wife has to remind me a lot of the time uh, things that we talked about when I was assistant. So, um, again, there, there's going to be. Uh, like anything, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a lot from these guys, and, and hopefully I can bring something to the table. They'll learn a lot from me, and at the end of the day, uh, the, the biggest thing with me is just making sure we're all on the same page, pulling the rope in the same direction. When you got the job and you wanted to get advice on you know how to be a head coach, who was the first person you called? Well, obviously I had a great mentor with uh, Coach Fedora right there, and uh, he was unbelievable throughout this process, and uh, a guy that uh, I'll always depend on a lot. But um, from there, I mean, you got to. Uh, I've had so many. I've, I've been extremely blessed to have so many people in my life to to uh, to have uh, got me to where I am today, um, and so all those guys that have been a part of that, I've I've leaned on all of them, and I always will, um, because they're the guys that uh, truly uh, got me into this position. Whether it be every uh, head coach that I've worked for, and uh, there's been an unbelievable lot of assistants that uh, um, unbelievable men, unbelievable coaches um, that uh, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, there's a lot of head coaches sitting in, uh, some of the assistants sitting in some of those rooms that uh, would be unbelievable head coaches and they'll get their opportunities as well. Um, but I've, I've, uh, I've had to depend on a lot of people and I always will.